Right, well, we've looked at a couple of lessons on uh, work with indices. We've looked at the basic stuff and we've looked at manipulating some harder expressions. Another aspect of index work that you have to be careful with is solving equations that involve indices. So let's look at two or three equations that you might be asked to solve. So it might be something like find x in these situations. x to the negative 2 equals 4, 1 over the cube root of x equals a half, and 4 to the negative x equals 1. So supposing we're trying to solve those equations. So we'll colour code these then, shall we? So we'll have that, the, the white equation, the yellow equation, and the pink equation. OK. Let's go for the white equation first then. x to the minus 2 equals 4. Now it isn't very often that I say to students when we're looking at things that there aren't sort of well-defined methods for doing things. But this is one of those occasions where you have to be honest and say there isn't really a method I can say to you, right, this is this sort of equation, this is what you do to it. Because they all have sort of variations within them. So what you need to do is to understand what this is asking you to do. Now what does x to the negative 2 mean? It means 1 over x squared equals 4. If you now try and rearrange that, the first thing you probably would do would be 1 equals multiply 4 by x squared. Then Perhaps you might divide by 4, so you get a quarter equals x squared. Now, it's like something you've met before. It's like a very easy quadratic equation. So you can take the square root, and sadly lots of people will write down x equals a half. And of course, you know that that's not the answer because whenever we have x squared equals something, we need plus or minus. So the white equation then has two solutions, plus and minus a half. There are people who can look at that and say, oh, I know what to do, I'd turn this upside down. And so um, you'll get people who can look at that and say, right, if I turn that upside down and turn that upside down at the same time, then I get x squared equals a quarter. But if you like safety, then, then tackle it like that. OK, let's go for, I think we'll have the pink equation. 4 to the negative x equals 1. Now we need to go to our list of rules again because one of them is the one we need. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So here the only way that is possible is if the power is 0. So negative x equals 0, which is the same as saying x equals 0. And then finally, let's go to the yellow equation. Now this is a little bit more tricky. 1 over the cube root of x equals a half. If you're confident, you'd be very happy to turn both of those upside down and say the cube root of x equals 2. If you weren't so confident, you'd probably want to do 2 times 1 and the cube root of x times 1, so you end up with the same thing but written the other way around. 
Now, what is this really saying to us? It's saying that if I take the cube root of x, I end up with the answer 2. So in other words, to work backwards to find what x equals, the opposite of cube rooting is cubing. The reverse of cube rooting is cubing. So x would equal 8. So there you have three examples of this type of problem. Um, you will meet many of these in all sorts of places. We will try as we build up the course to bring things like this into the questions that we look at so that over a period of time you develop the skills that you need to cope with anything. But again, this is a slow process. Try and understand the basic concepts. Take it slowly, step by step, and don't expect to be able to look at something like this and just get the answer straight away. Okay, this is a, a classic example of where you have got to work right the way through the mathematics to get the solution. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.